Hello and welcome back to another Satisfactory video and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods onto Satisfactory. Hello everybody, my name is Magneti, you can call me Alex if you'd like, but Today, we're here to show you how to install some mods, and what kind of mods are out there, and some of my personal favorite mods. Uh, currently, I'm using one of my favorite mods, and it's called Area Actions. And essentially, what you can do is fly around, or mass delete things. You can copy pasta stuff. So, like, if I wanted to copy this... I could paste it in a location, put it here. Okay, well, you see I kind of messed that up because I didn't set the, the top or bottom. So you want to set the top. Set the... Set the bottom. Right. Set the bottom. Copy. Paste the location. Boom. And there you go. You've got a whole nother thingamajig you're good to go. There's a whole ton of other mods out there and things you can do with mods and all kinds of crazy stuff. Now you may be wondering if you know modding you know you might be thinking modding is cheating or modding makes the game less fun or modding ruins the game but actually for me all right nobody actually cares about this stuff so uh, how about you shut the hell up and uh, get on with showing people how to mod satisfactory. Now, here's the mods for Satisfactory, and I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for you. It's called fixit.app, https colon forward slash forward slash fixit.app, right here. Now, there's a whole ton of mods in here, and uh, you, you can install whatever you want, and there's a couple hundred of mods, and it's super easy. So... All you're going to have to do here is click this right here, download the mod manager. This is going to download right here. If you're using Google Chrome, it'll be down here. If you're using something else like Firefox or maybe uh, Microsoft Edge, it'll probably pop up up here. But as soon as that's done downloading, you just want to open it. And then... So if this pops up, don't worry about it. Um, it's It's definitely not... A virus I already have it and you can you can check all kinds of sources you know reddit they have a discord all kinds of stuff over here so you just go ahead and run it anyways so you can mark it for whether you want it just for that user or for everyone on the computer uh, for me it doesn't really matter because I already I'm the only one on my computer so okay All right, and then when it's completed, you can click Run Satisfactory Mod Manager, and it will look like this. So right now it's loading, and you can show the 160 compatible mods. Uh, I have six favorited and three installed. A couple other mods I use are Calculator, which uh, if you push F9, it brings up a calculator in-game. F8 creates new sticky notes, uh, F7 hides all, F7 plus shift shows all, and F6 enables or disables the mouse pointer. I also have permaday, I, I like this mostly for recording YouTube videos and also for the fact that it helps me see because the nighttime is kind of dark. And then the area actions one I was talking to you guys about earlier where you can fly around, you can make area selections, mass dismantle, set recipe, all kinds of crazy stuff for this mod. I, I've used a lot of it. Uh, so for set recipe, that means you can select a certain area. Here, I'll show you. So for set recipe, you can select an area of any type of building that produces something. So say these assemblers. So right click, set recipe, 
scroll down to say a modular frame now I'm not gonna do that because I already have it set to reinforced iron plates but you see if you click that it'll say set recipe to reinforced iron plate for two assemblers awesome and then you can just clear your selection just like that or if you wanted to I could set my constructors my eight constructors here I could change it from iron rods and screws and iron plates, and I could just set all eight to biomass from wood if I really wanted to. So that's a super useful feature. Area actions can do so much more than that too. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with that. Once you have the mod manager installed, the only thing you have to do to install mods is just click on one you want so I'm gonna go to my favorites maybe install something that I might want so say for refined power if you wanted to install it you would have to make sure the game is closed and then you would click install mod down here and then it would take maybe a minute two minutes depending on your internet speed and how big the size of the mod uh, how big the mod is and then once it's installed you can favorite it if you'd like so that it's in your favorites list and then you just click launch game it'll say launch game and it'll be highlighted green right here but since I have the game running it is saying game is running so then you just click launch game and it'll launch up and then when you boot the game up it'll tell you how many mods you have loaded down here in this corner so it says four mods loaded which I believe I only have three mods installed so I'm not sure why it says four mods loaded but that's okay all my mods work and nothing crazy has happened to my game so I'm happy with that and that's everything you need to know for installing mods on satisfactory if you like the video go ahead and leave a like down below if you want more content like this go ahead and click subscribe and I'll see you in the next video magneti out